The decimate modifier is a very handy modifier that allows us to reduce the poly count of our mesh. So for example, if we had a highly detailed model that we need to move into a game engine, we could use a decimate modifier to reduce the poly count to make the mesh game ready. So if I apply the decimation modifier, you'll see in the mode, there are three decimation modes, collapse, unsubdivide and planar. Collapse attempts to merge vertices whilst keeping the general structure of the mesh intact. The ratio field here controls the ratio of faces to keep after decimation. On the default value of 1, the mesh is not decimated. The lower the ratio, the more decimation that is taking place. You can see the number of faces drop as we decimate the mesh. Also, just a quick pointer, decimation only works in object mode. So just remember that if you are ever using this modifier. Triangulate just converts the topology to triangles when decimating. So if I apply this modifier now, you will see that all the topology is triangulated. And vertex group allows you to assign a vertex group to the modifier so that the decimation will only apply for that group. So for example, if I select these vertices here, and then create a vertex group for this. I can select the vertex group here, and now when I decimate, it will only apply to that vertex group. Unsubdivide is essentially the opposite of subdivide. It attempts to remove topology that was the result of a subdivide operation. Just be aware though, when using this, this does not work very well if you have made edits to your mesh after initially subdividing it. You can change the iterations count here to add more decimation. This works fine for me because there were no additional edits after this mesh was subdivided. Lastly, we have the planar which reduces the topology on flat surfaces. You can change the angle limit here, which will take the angle of each face into account. For example, if I enter 25, it will do planar decimation to all faces which are up to a 25 degree angle. And then here, you can choose which types of faces to delimit, so that you have a bit more control over your mesh when decimating. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you've learned a little bit more about the Decimate tool in Blender. If you want to stay up to date with more content on like this, feel free to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.